Hi everyone, how you guys? Um, hope everyone is doing phenomenally well these days. <laughs> it's me again, Ethar. Ethar, um, or E, you can call me E. <laughs> Uh, it's one letter only, <laughs> one sound, <laughs> E. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm just doing this real quick video, video just to, um, sort of go discuss and go into detail a little bit about my topic for today. Um, I have a little topic for today, um, <laughs> this is my handwriting. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> it's so bad, <laughs> my handwriting sucks, <laughs> but, um, so I just wanted to see if I could possibly, um, go over, like, my little, my little, uh, topic for, um, this afternoon, <laughs> um, okay, um, so here we go, here goes, here goes nothing, <laughs> So my topic um for today is um mainly to do with um my my degree program that I'm trying to do. Um so basically um I'm trying to I'm currently um in I'm currently in a like a, in a sort of degree like a mas master's degree with Old Dominion University here in Virginia and um, so um, it's a master's in teaching <laughs> it's an MAT a master's of arts in teaching um, so um, that means that I guess like that means that by the time I complete uh, my program I'll be licensed to teach English language arts because my focus area is English language arts. Um, and you know, it's funny because um, in the beginning of my sort of academic journey, journey, I was, um, I was initially um, in a program called um, the Masters of Science in Education or something with with ODU, Old Dominion University. But um, the thing is, is that um, they have a new program coming up um, in the spring of 2025. Um, so next, this coming spring semester. So it's supposed to be like, um, like a, a sort of revamped and like re, done program like a reimagined program in in teaching in teaching and education with with old dominion um and so it's called the new program is called um the masters of arts and teaching the mat and um you know a lot of it's funny a lot of different colleges and universities have an mat but with odu it was always just like a masters of education or something but this one, like this new revamped program, um, the MAT with ODU, <laughs> the Masters of Arts with Old Dominion University, this new one that's coming up in the spring, the revamped one, it's more like um, more up to date with like how teaching is in the 21st century and like it's more, um, it's more with it, like it's more, I guess, um, uh, I guess they're trying to make it more like focused, like more of like a a teaching, like really, really focused on like how to develop your own teaching style and, and, and like the historical development of teaching in the United States. Um, so it looks really cool. And there's a few classes that are really, they look interesting. Like, I mean, there's a class for it called, um, that's called Problems in Education. Um, so that one looks extremely interesting. Um, that one is a required class, actually. Um, and, and what I'll do, by the way, I'm going to link link the program description and all of the like required coursework, <laughs> like the program web page um, with ODU. I'll link it um, in the description box below. Um, 
and hopefully it'll be interesting for anybody to take a gander at it, take a look at it, and um, just sort of see what I'm studying, I guess, or what I'm expected to study and, and fulfill for my requirements. Um, but the classes, they do look very interesting for that, um, for this, for this MAT. It, it looks, like, very, um, intriguing and, like, very, like, relevant, um, relevant to teaching and to helping students and, um, to the learning process and, like, how students best learn, like, what they need to learn, I guess, and and they also for this program here, um, um, in teaching, um, of course they have like focus areas. So, uh, mine is um language arts, but they have one for math and, uh, one for science and one for um history, social studies, history. All of it is beautiful. Every subject matter is just beautiful. There are people who are into it and you get to find like your niche and you get to find your people sort of. And you get to do some really cool things with it. Like, I mean, I know with like language arts and like English literature, it's cool because like, it's cool because like if you, you know, if you like reading <laughs> literature and you're just sort of like a, a reader, or maybe even like a creative writer, and you're into like liter literature and poetry, nonfiction, fiction, like novels, poetry collections. There's nothing better than just being part of like a literary community sort of. Um, and you get to discuss like important literature in the English canon, like the English, um, literature tradition sort of um you get to read some very important authors and um i mean it's there's nothing more beautiful than just being there with like your people sort of i mean for me like i have in general i have like a really hard time fitting in with people in life because i'm just like such a weirdo i guess um I don't know, I just had such a hard time fitting in in like high school and middle school and stuff like that. College was a nightmare as well because like, I didn't really have any friends in college. I just sort of was there, but I didn't really make any new friends or have any friends really in college, so. But that's okay, I mean, whatever. It's, it's a rough life in a lot of respects and you have to like get through it and you have to keep going and keep hoping for a brighter day um ahead and just keep hanging in there um keep hoping that everything will be okay for you and for everybody on earth um with god's grace you know um with god's good grace and his help allah's help um So yeah, I mean, literature is like very important. I always love like to read um sort of like classic literature and even like the newer modern um books that are out there these days, because you know I mean there's so much like important important fiction and novels and poetry collections and short story collections, essays essay collections like entire books of essays by one author which is thrilling it's really cool to read like one person's thoughts and reflections memoirs and everything like it's really 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 amazing what people have like done in their lives and what they've accomplished and, and like now they're like sharing it with sharing it with like everybody so it's really 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 cool I, 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 I love that people are good writers out there and they share their writings and their ideas and everything their books and stuff they share it with the world and it's very 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 exhilarating <laughs> like it's cool just to like see it like a product out there and like people are actually looking at it internalizing it and it's life-changing some books are like life-changing so 
That's one thing. I think literature, everybody loves literature. I haven't met one person in my life who didn't love a good book. <laughs> I mean, you know, whether it's poetry, whether it's a novel they read in their childhood, I mean, you know, we're all, you know, um, readers. Uh, and like, we're all like, I think we just have to like find like the right type of thing for us, like the, ty the, the right type of genre um, or whatever it's called the right type of niche for us so that we can enjoy literature to the maximum and to the fullest. So, um, I basically, I basically went over, like, um, got most of the main points, I guess, for the MAT program that I'm in with uh, my college, Old Dominion. Um, so that was the first bullet point right here. Sorry, right here. What does it say? It says new... MAT program with ODU and that's what I wrote for the first one. So the second point though, just moving right along to the second point that I have written down here. Um, the second sort of bullet point that I wanted to mention um, is that, you know, I recently, recently applied um, to an MA, a Master's of Arts in English Literature with ODU, but unfortunately, I didn't get in. <laughs> I didn't get into that one. Um, I think they were looking for like, sort of high quality applicants, and I just didn't fit that mold. Um, I gave it my best sort of effort for like my application. I tried to get in. Um, I tried to write like a really um, good personal statement. I tried, but it just wasn't, it didn't, I didn't make the cut. It didn't cut the mustard. Um, I didn't get in for that, but, so this was, um, this is the, um, this was like the master's degree in English literature. Um, I didn't get into that one. Um, so that was a bust, but you know, I learned a lot. Um, I got some good feedback on sort of like the rejection letter that I received. Um, and I think I'm going to try again for like a, a certificate in literature later down the line, hopefully. Like a certificate, like just like a shorter length program um, in literature. Um, so that I can just sort of have more credentials and more um, education, sort of. And that hopefully that'll help me later down the line in my teaching career as well. So um, didn't make it in the, didn't get in the MA in English literature, but that's okay. Um, and that was my second bullet point. Um, and, and, and so just to sort of summarize what I mentioned so far in the video, um, I mentioned so far that I'm in like the new revamped, reimagined, reconstructed Masters of Arts in Teaching. Um, so it's like a more of like a education degree, like a teaching degree um, with Old Dominion. And I didn't get in the MA, the Masters of art in of arts in English literature, so that one was a no. I didn't get in. They said no way. <laughs> didn't get into that one. It's okay. Whatever. Yeah. What can you do? Um. And so, like, on uh, my third, like my third bullet point that I wanted to sort of go over, um, and mention. The third thing is that, and this is the final bullet point that I have for this presentation. Um, the third bullet point is this one right here, this stuff right here. Um, and so um, just to sort of go over the third bullet point, um, third thing I wanted to mention finally is that I actually plan to um, like, um, so like, yeah, so like I plan, I'm planning to earn my teaching degree and my teaching licensure, 
which is like um, included with the degree sort of. They give you like a licensure after you complete all the requirements for it. Um, so like after you do your student teaching, internship, your practicum, um, and you complete all the coursework, complete all the coursework, and you complete um, like the um, educator requirements. But they have like these um, trainings that you have to do, which is like there's kind of a lot of them. There's like five or six or something that you have to do. Um, just like um, you know, so like once I complete all of my requirements um, for my teaching teaching program. And some of the training requirements are like, um, you have to do like a, a, a cultural competency um, training requirement. You also, uh, for your teacher um, training, for your teacher requirements in, in Virginia, um, I think all across the country, you also have to complete um, something called like a dyslexia awareness training for um, students, like for, for like it helps you um, be aware of students who might have dyslexia or like other reading problems, um, disabilities, like learning challenges. So there's like several different um, training modules that you have to complete. Uh, I know another one, another one was um, the child, child abuse um, awareness training so that you can help spot out and rectify child abuse if you see it, when you see it, and it's like incumbent upon you as like a teacher to report child abuse, which is very sad. Like if you, like you have to like, like you can't like sit back and not do anything, I guess. Um, if you see it, you have to say it and, you know, hopefully all, all of our children in America will be safe and secure in their home life and in school and everything, but it does happen, you know, it's a messed up world in many ways. Not all the time, but you know, it, it can be a cruel place sometimes. And especially, if, especially if, like, if you're a kid and you have to go through child abuse, it's not fun. And, you know, my prayers, like, I, I really feel for those kids. It's like, you know, child abuse, neglect, and Neglect is like a form of abuse, right? Because <laughs> maybe they're not being like fed properly or taken care of properly. You know, some parents are messed up. They have like mental problems. Um, you know, God bless everyone. Um, but like, anyways, what what I was saying, all I'm trying to say for this third bullet point is that like, you know, once I um once I earn, earn. Um, or like just complete my teaching licensure and stuff. I plan to I plan to um, work like get to work right away. Um, hopefully, as a high school English teacher here in Virginia. So I plan to um, find work, apply, and uh, hopefully find some work as a full time high school uh, or middle school English language arts teacher <laughs> so um i'm hoping that goes all right um you know um <clears throat> you know i like um poetry i like sort of creative writing and even like writing composition and essay writing i, I thought that was always fascinating i mean it's an interesting topic it's an interesting like field and like subfield um, English literature and like English lit creative writing um, but like once I um, once I like get into the classroom um, I plan to work as a teacher for some years and then um, and then after that like after I am in my career and I have some experience in teaching um, English and stuff I kind of I want to be like a community college teacher or instructor. Um, I'm hoping I can one day become like 
an instructor at like um, a community college, a local community college here in the in the Northern Virginia area, or um, like the DC area, greater Washington DC area, um, DC metropolitan <laughs> area, DC metro area. Um, I don't know. I just thought that would be cool. <laughs> like, I think like that's what I want. I might want to do ultimately, but this is like like a future ambition, I guess. Hopefully. And uh, that's what I wrote down here like for the last, like, you know, finish your certification, finish your degree program, and then teach for as many years as you can, sort of, and then hopefully by then I can, like, become more qualified, sort of, to be a, uh instructor at the community college level. Um... I know those jobs are like, you know, competitive, um, but I hope that, you know, everything goes okay. <laughs> I hope, um, I hope it goes okay. You know, and it's really funny because like, I was a student at community college not too long ago. I was at Nova Community College, um, Northern Virginia Community College, and I was studying um, like liberal arts, English literature. Um, so I was there, I was like a student there. And I noticed like the community colleges are very good, like they're like a good head start sort of for people who wanna go and get their like associate's degrees or just um, maybe just take a class or two in a subject that interests them. And it's a good like stepping stone to like university, to four year university. Um, if you want to, like, if you plan on attending four-year school and just going off and being something else, I guess, something, like, that requires a four-year degree. I think, like, college and, like, high school and middle school and the whole learning process, the whole, like, nine yards and just, like, teaching and learning and being there with people, it's it's really interesting. And you know, I, I'm planning hopefully on becoming like a very like effective instructor. Like by that I mean I really wanna like help people um acquire like top notch writing skills sort of and to sort of find their creative voice as writers, as students and as writers. Um because you know um, I'll be teaching, like, hopefully I'll be teaching, like, um, introductory um, literature classes and intro writing classes, creative writing, and so I'll be, like, an English instructor, <laughs> like, an English teacher at the community college level, hopefully, even if it's just, like, part-time instructor, um, so, um, so, like, um, I want to help students in the English department, in, like, the writing department, um, you know, uh, like, I want to sort of be there within the literary community and, like, the writing community, um, and I want to sort of help students and help them gain their own unique voice and their own, um, style as writers, you know, because, like, everybody has their own creative writing style, I guess, um, and, uh, you know, I think, like, beginning writers and, like, all writers, they have, like, so much to say, and it's really interesting to read and to hear. You know, I think writers are just fantastic. Um, I like poetry, even, like, it doesn't even have to be, like, a very, like, deep novel or anything deep like novel or something even if it's just like inspirational poetry I think that's like fantastic that's like amazing we need more love and more understanding um and more heartfelt like heart to hearts <laughs> in life we need that I mean everybody has something to offer um we're all important. <laughs> We're all cool. Everyone's cool, you know. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully 
everything goes well. I mean, I'm praying for everybody. I'm praying for you guys that like all of your plans and dreams for the future come true times a thousand percent. Um, I hope everything, I hope you guys have a wonderful life ahead of you. I hope everyone, um, you know, manages to find their niche and then just work hard and get there and help other people, help other people through their work or their career or just help people in their volunteer time or, or whatever. I mean, or whatever, just being like a good parent. I know a lot of people, you know, they don't really put as much emphasis on their work or their job or whatever, because like for some reason or another, like they just do it because like, like, I guess, like, we have to work, I guess, in life, because I guess it's just a requirement of life, like, an, an an invisible requirement of life, like, it's just sort of an unspoken rule or whatever, I don't know why, but, you know, but so a lot of people, they don't really, they don't really like to talk too much about their job or whatever, because it's just what they do to, like, survive or whatever, but... Um, so it doesn't even have to be, like, your career or your work. Even if you're just, like, a good parent, a good sibling, a good aunt, you know, a good volunteer in your community, you know, community service type of volunteer work, or if you're a writer, <laughs> a writer, like, you're an actual, like, um, creative writer. Even if you're just self-publishing, I think that's amazing. I think self-publishing is, like, really cool because you don't have to, like, worry about, like, the publishing industry and stuff they could be so snobby sometimes like it could just be very like competitive and like very like they want like a s very specific thing and it's like you can just bypass that and self-publish get your work out there and be your own person sort of and just share your work through just sort of self-publishing um you know, I think that's amazing. Writers are amazing. Um, writing and, be, you know, being in the community as a writer or something. Um, being in the community as a writer in your local community. So I think everyone is beyond amazing. Like, I'm so proud of everyone, you know. They're, we're all cool. And um, I think life is all about, like, forgiveness and love and stuff like that. So... You know, it's all about, like, gratitude, forgiveness, love, uh, forgiveness, understanding, and, you know, just being like yourself, sort of, and, and not, like, worrying about the hard times or the difficulties that we don't, we can't control. Because, you know, sometimes things happen to us, and we didn't want it to happen that way, and, um, you know, just sort of things that befall us sometimes sort of like fall on top of us and it's like where did that come from I was not planning that I don't know why he did that or why she did that or like why that happened that way to me but trials and stuff tribulations and problems everyone's got them but we just need to hang in there and keep keep going forward hopefully keep praying to God and keep keep up the good work the hard work and keep being as healthy and happy as possible Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you, guys. Love y'all. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> okay, bye. Asalaamu May God bless you guys. Peace. Peace be with you. Asalaamu Bye.